Ta! -da! I know it's been like forever, but we're doing commentary again. This time, part two, round four. Goodness, that's loud. Okay, is there anyone on the internet who doesn't love the Sorcerer's Society? Like, we made this as a blanket statement a while ago. Everyone on the internet loves the Sorcerer's Society. I have not yet found anything that disproved it. Um, anyway, uh, Sorcerer's Society is here pitted up against the Salem Seven. Snake people are interesting. I don't know what it would be like to be one. It would be cool or inconvenient not to have legs. I don't know. I'll make a pros and cons list later. Yes, is there anyone who doesn't love the Sorcerer Society? I mean, I'm not gonna hate on people who do. I just, just want to know if this is like a law of the universe. Yeah, we have a snake of our own. <laughs> He's with space palm. Why me? Why me? Yes, but then Mosenrath steps in and obliterates everything, and now he's Meadows. Why her? <laughs> Partners in crime! They just have so much swag together! Okay, now we've got the Huntsman versus the Demon. Actually, GA and I have had this long discussion about, um, I hope I haven't already talked about this, but like, how the Huntsman has pretty much no love on the internet, even though he's, you know, the main antagonist of American Dragon Jake Long. You can't filter by him on fanfiction.net. You can hardly find any videos of him. Oh yes, and the Huntsman has just killed Kovu. This is going to lead to, um, Zero Wanting Revenge, badly. I forget why that was actually plot relevant to kill him. I'm sorry, I forget that. Anyway, here we have the Battle of the Dooms. Judge Doom versus Victor Von Doom. Anyway, yeah, GA and I are kind of like on this campaign to get um, more love and recognition for uh, the Huntsman, because he's, you know, actually a pretty compelling character and driven by obsession, and it's... it's he needs love. No, they're not related, despite the last name. Alright, so, um, Kingpin discovered that, uh, Syndrome pushed his, uh, monologuing henchman upon him and is going to send Shocker as retaliation. Which is, you know, not going to be as easy because Shocker doesn't stand around talking about meaningless stuff. Okay, okay, I'm sure that Zenith thought what he talked about actually meant something. Love the use of the Kronos operation here. The Omnidroid. Mirage. I love Mirage. Like, I- on some level I kind of identify with her. I just feel so bad for her. She's very cool, and I feel like there's, you know, a lot to her that can be left to the imagination. But the Shocker's got his plans. There is actually, like, this huge involved sci-fi thing about, um... Oh yeah, uh, here we got Facilier versus the Puppet Master, because Facilier is back from the dead now. Um... Yeah, uh, the CGI realm actually has this big sci-fi thing going on, like, the entire planet is one giant nation ruled by a president, and Syndrome's got, like, all the power there, and that's why Kingpin's targeting him, and there's a lot of stuff with, like, Xehanort was Syndrome's mentor, and then Xehanort mysteriously vanished, and we're not sure if Syndrome killed him, or if Xehanort, you know, planned it out that Syndrome should kill him so he can reform into new bodies, or... Anyway, Facilier decides to hit the Puppet Master where it truly hurts. Killing his daughter. This is the episode with all the dead kids. 
And for once, the Loa are pleased. I think that's how you pronounce that. Loa, the evil gods of voodoo. I mean, the gods of evil voodoo, because there's good voodoo, too. It has a different set of gods. Oh, I mentioned I'm a mythology nerd. Okay, now we got Clang versus General Ross. And Clang gets his awesome new sound wave super weapon in the Lost City. This leads to something amazing, which I'm just... We're, we'll get there, we'll get there. Wait a minute. This is some kind of remix of Forze Del Male. This is not the original version, but this is some kind of remix of it. Okay, that that's over. Anyway, Clang just took down Ross pretty easily, but um it's just gonna establish Clang. We gotta get some death count under his name. Cow calls in uh Clobster to help Necroli. You may be wondering where's Calabar in all this if Cow's in. There's actually uh some backstory to that. Now Blackheart has the hidden on his side. Yeah, you laugh it up. You know, having not watched Power Rangers, I'm probably in no position to judge. But, you know, com comparing... Actually, I haven't watched Ghost Rider either, so I'm in no position to judge at all. But, honestly, you know, if Necroli and Blackheart step out, it's like, well, I have the hidden... Well, I have Clobster! I mean, like, the hidden... Is are way more frightening.